In this tutorial, I will be explaining the U2 method for solving the centers of the 4x4 blindfolded. One of the prerequisites for learning this is knowing m squared for the 3x3. Throughout this video, I will be using three main terms, a buffer position, a helper position, and the destination. If we examine the m squared method in 3 by 3 we see that the buffer position is the location of the piece we want to move. The helper position is where we're going to shoot that piece to. If for m squared, it's just an m squared. And the destination is where we would like that piece to go. So, in m squared, we would bring the destination to the helper position using setup moves, like such. This should look very familiar. Next, we use the swapping move m squared to bring the piece in the buffer location up to the helper spot. Then we simply undo the setup move. The 4x4 is exactly the same in that we have a buffer position located here, a helper position here, and then the destination is wherever we would like the piece in the buffer place to go. So let me show you how it works on the 4x4. In our buffer location, we have a red center piece, which we want to go here. So simply, we would bring the destination up to the helper location using a setup move like such, which I will explain later. Then, instead of using an M squared to switch the two, we use the swapping moves U2. And then, we simply undo the setup moves. In part one, I will be giving the introduction to the U2 method, as well as going over how to solve the four centers, the four sides of the Rubik's Cube. So, since I solve white on top, it will be the four red centers, the four blue centers, the four orange centers, and the four green centers. If you have a prior knowledge of M squared, learning this should be a snap. Now, in order for you to understand what I just did, I'm going to be breaking it down into a series of 10 steps that should make it easier to understand. Step one is simple. You look at the buffer location and see what color the piece is. If you're doing white on top, then if the piece is red, blue, orange or green, then you know it has to go on one of the side faces. So we determine its color, in our case red. We then find the red face, and we find which position of the four centers is the first available one. In our case, it's this one. Now, you're going to have to have some sort of uh, lettering or memorization system to figure this out. Me, I start with the red face, and I letter A, B, C, and then D. And then I continue all the way around E, F, G, H, and so on. So I would look at this, see it's red, and then OK. It has to go on the red face, and the first position open is A. Next, we determine if that position on the face is in the U face, small u, or the small d face. These top two, all the way around the cube, would represent those on the small u face, while the two on the bottom would represent those on the small d face. Now that we know that, we have to use a move that will bring the helper location down to the correct face, the correct slice. So, since we have to bring ours to the u face. So if we did that to bring it down, it brings the helper piece down to the small d face, which we do not want. There's only four moves you can do to bring the helper piece down to that slice. You can do small f prime, which brings it to the lower face, small f, which brings it to the up face, small l, and small L prime. So you want to choose one that brings it down to the correct face, correct slice. Now, while doing this, you cannot disturb 
the p uh, the slice that the uh, destination is in. So we cannot do this move because it moves our destination. So that leaves only one possible move that'll bring the helper piece down to the up the small you face, and that's that. So now the destination and the helper piece on the same slice. The next is we turn that slice to match up those two pieces. So we bring the destination over to where the helper piece now is. And then we simply undo the original move. At this point, we perform the switching put move on a 3x3 three three, it's an M squared. On a 4x4 four four, it's going to be a U squared. So we do that and then we simply undo what we did before. So bring that face down, bring it back over to the destination, and then back up. Now that is all you have to do. Now, let's go over the next case, which for me would be that we want to push the piece in the buffer location to a letter B on the red face. So we look at a, a helper location, and we try to figure out a move that will bring it down to the same slice as the destination. So first we try that. First, try a small L. Um, however, this brings the helper location to the small D face, which we do not want. The small F brings it to the up face, which we do want. However, by simply spinning the slice, we cannot match up the two. However, if we do this move, then it is on the correct slice, and we can bring our destination to that spot by simply performing the small u squared. Now they're lined up. We then bring it back to the top, perform the switching move, and then undo. And that is what you have to do. Now, let's go through a third example. We look at our buffer location, we see that it is once again a red piece, and that the first available red piece is located here, in what I would call position number C. So, now we want to bring our helper location down to that slice, which is the small d. So we try out some moves, we find a small f does not work, it brings it to the small u face, small u slice. We find that small f prime brings it to the correct slice. However, these two cannot be matched up as such. And the only other possible positions would be the l slice messes with our destination. So, what do we do in this case? Well, it's very simple. All you do is perform a u squared and switch, it switches the buffer position and the helper position. So you do the exact same thing as before, except now you consider this location right here to be your uh, helper position. So you go through your, you check your moves again. This, unfortunately, brings it to the U slice, so you cannot do that move. Doing this also brings the helper position to the U slice. This one does bring it to the small d slice, however, the two cannot be interchanged. So, the only other option is to by performing that. It brings it to the uh, small d face, and now, by performing that, they line up. So you bring that back to the top by undoing your initial move, perform the swap, and then undo again. Now, once you've done this, you, it is important to remember that you also have to undo that u squared at the end. So that is how to do u squared in a nutshell. In part two, I will be continuing and going over some more possibilities on the faces.